Would you guys today we're taking a look at how to protect your files or folders in Windows 11. You can use this method in any version of Windows, but we all know that we have sensitive data on our computer and it's quite easy to right click and delete. And if it's a large folder with all your data in it, it will just randomly delete it without going to the recycle bin. So you have to be very careful. And if you want to lock this down and stop people from deleting it or going in there and looking at it or even reading or right into that folder. I'm going to show you how to do all of this in this video. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So right click on the actual folder itself and go to properties. Once we have properties open, go to security. Inside security here, what we need to do is click on edit. So to change permissions, click edit. And this will open up the permissions for this particular folder. Now the best way to restrict access to this or deleting of this folder would be to set it for everyone. And to do that, it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do here is click on the add and in the select users or groups, and we need to put in an entry into here. So we're going to put everyone inside here. Once we've done that, click check names. And now this is going to restrict everyone uh, from access to that folder. So click OK here. And now we've got the everyone inside here. We can now go over to the deny and put the check marks into deny. And this will give us full control and to set it how we want. So we've given uh, denied access for full control, modify, read and execute, list folder contents, read and write, and special permissions. It's completely controlled the whole of that folder for everyone, and no one's going to be able to gain access to it because we've set the permissions to deny access to that folder. So again, you would have to do some other extensive uh, settings on this to restrict it even further. Otherwise, people can just come in here, right click on it, and go properties and change it back to whatever they want. So we can drag files here and it will block them. You won't be able to gain access to this folder whatsoever. But if you're an administrator, you're still going to be able to right click on it and go properties and then go to security. This is why you would need to obviously set up other security policies for this particular user if you don't want them to be able to right click and make changes to this uh, folder. Again, they will be able to come in here and just make it allow and they will get access to that folder. So this is where this sort of method doesn't work too well, because obviously every time you uh, set this up, it's going to restrict certain access. So you can have it to allow you to drag and drop files into it, but you won't be able to read the actual contents inside there. You can set it up like that as well. But again, you really want to make sure that you're restricting particular accounts rather than uh, everyone. And if they're running on a standard user uh, and you're an administrator, they're not going to be able to make changes to that folder permissions. As you can see here, the permissions have been denied here and we're restricting access to it. So that's what you want to do uh, with the uh, setup here. If you've got a particular person that is using your computer and you want to restrict them and they're not set up as an administrator, you can actually restrict them from actually right clicking on this folder and making changes to the security area of this and it will stop them from making changes to that folder altogether and it will be locked down and they won't be able to do anything. So this is how you would have to set it up. As an administrator, obviously I can just right click on here and make changes to it and put denied or allow and it will put it back to default. So make sure that the person that is using the computer with you is not an administrator, otherwise they will just change it to allow and then gain access to the folder. So it's not that secure if you've got everyone as administrator on that computer. As most people do nowadays, because as you install Windows, it automatically gives people a administrator account. So it, you don't really want to do that. Now, if you want to remove the security uh, setting here, right click on the folder, go properties, and then go back to security. And as administrator, you can click on edit and you can make changes here. And you can even delete the everyone if you wish and uh, it will go back to a default setting uh, for that particular folder and you'll be able to gain access to it again. And that uh, setting has now gone, as you can see here. Now, another way about doing this is software. There's plenty of software out there that you can use. Some of them are free and some of them are paid. Uh, this one here is IOBit Folder Protection. It's one of the better ones out there. It's not free, but you can use this to actually lock down folders and data on your computer. So create an admin account for this particular software, because remember, this is the actual software we're creating the password for and uh, give it a 
a hint here and I'll just need to change that there because it's not long enough. There we go. And we've now got the password set for this software. It will open up and it will allow you to now drag and drop files or folders into this location. So let's go ahead and do that. We can click on add as well and unlock. But let's go ahead and just drag this photos area into here. And now you can see we've got the path there for the photos. So we've now dragged this in and you can see it says protected here. And all you need to do here now is click on lock and exit. And this will then exit out of the program. And you will now have the folder disappeared on the computer. You won't find the folder because it's hidden and it's also locked. So even if someone did manage to find it somehow, they will basically not be able to gain access to it because they would have to put the password in for that particular software to gain access to that folder. As you can see, it's not even here. Even if I show hidden files and folders, it's not going to show up here. So let me quickly just do this to see whether it actually detects it. I don't think it's going to be visible here, and that's because it's completely hidden. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to quickly change this set in here. There we go. And you can see it's not visible at all, even in a grayed out mode. So it's completely invisible uh, to you. So no one's going to know it's there and it's protected by this software. So to get access to it again, we're going to open up the software. And again, you have to put in the administrator password for that particular software. And if you don't know what a password is, it's not going to let you in like this if you get the password wrong. And you're not going to be able to gain access to it to gain access to uh, those files and folders that you've got password protected. So let's go ahead and put the correct password in here and up comes the actual program and opens up the location. It is still protected and uh, to gain access to this, we can actually unlock it if we want to and add more stuff to it and do whatever we want to do here. So if you want to show the file, uh, actual folder or file, you can do, but leave it locked. If you want to do that, you can do this with these little sliders here where it says hide from file explorer and other programs. You can turn that off and then still lock the actual folder. So you won't be able to gain access to it, even though you can see it like this right here. We can now see the actual folder. If I save and exit, you'll be able to see the folder, but you won't be able to gain access to it because it is locked. As you can see, when I click on it, it says uh, you don't have permissions to access this folder. And that's pretty much it. That is using software to lock down files and folders on your computer, whether it be Windows uh, 10 or Windows 11, you can use this method, or you can use the security tab to set up your permissions via that method. Whatever one suits you, uh, go ahead and set those up. So if you've got some sensitive information or you just don't want people prying on a particular folder on your computer, you can use this method to lock it down. Very simple and easy to do. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group, whether you're a tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.